Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about collage and mixed media and we will be making an art activity based on the exhibition Code Switch by Sanford Biggers which we have currently up at the Bronx Museum. The exhibition runs until January 24th, 2021 and you can make an appointment online to come visit the show. When you visit, you can also pick up some materials like these to follow along with this workshop. Sanford Biggers works on view at the museum feature more than 50 mixed media paintings and sculptures based on historical quilts that he collected. Something nice about these works is how Biggers features the different patterns that he finds on the quilt and then he also adds layers of paint and other materials on top and sometimes he even cuts shapes out of them. This combination of mixed media painting, collage and cutouts looks like a lot of fun so let's make an activity based on it. For this workshop you're going to need pattern paper or fabric. Origami paper is great for this but I also have some fabric scraps. Paper with solid colors, glue, scissors, anything else you want to add to the surface. You could use stickers for example. Additionally, you could use a combination of paint and brushes or markers. You could also use something like Crayolas or colored pencils. In Sanford Bigger's work, he uses a combination of patterns that is already present in the quilt. You see how quilts are made of different fabrics? Well, our pattern paper is only one pattern per sheet, but you can achieve a similar effect if you take one of the pattern sheets, fold it in half, and then in half again, and again and again, and out of this small rectangle, you can cut out a geometrical shape. In this way, you will have many cutouts of the same size and you can glue those onto a different pattern and have something like a paper quilt, alternating the shapes onto the base paper so you can see the paper underneath as well. Play around with different textures. If that's too complicated, you can just combine two or three different pieces of pattern paper and use that as a base. You don't even need to cut out the edges neatly. You can also combine the paper with fabric scraps if you want. Next thing we're going to do is add a bold color on top. You can use a solid color paper or piece of felt or fabric to do this. Sanford Biggers uses a lot of geometrical shapes, but he also uses symbols or even just abstract applications of a solid color paint, which he then uses to create a separation from the busy pattern in the background and be able to have something like a line drawing that you can distinguish well because of the ball colored underneath. So let's try a few of those things. Here, I'm going to do a flat color with paint. You can do a specific shape or symbol, but I'm just going to do an abstract shape. Once this is dry, I'm also adding some line drawing so you can see what I was just explaining. I'm going to draw a similar flower pattern like the one in the red paper, but bigger and with a different color so it creates some contrast. In a mixed media artwork, there aren't many rules. You can combine a million things. You could keep adding things if you wanted to, but for this one, I'm going to do the opposite and I'm going to subtract from the work by cutting out a shape across it, like in some of Bigger's works. And here we have our finished works. I hope you enjoyed this activity and that you have a great time combining different techniques to make your own mixed media works. If you have a chance, share your artworks with the museum online. And remember, you can pick up a materials package when you come visit the museum. Bye!